Roy Gentry with Albert Systems of America. You told us a story here just a few moments ago that you were part of the first IFR flight and now you're turning IFR flight back into VFR flight. That's a pretty interesting concept. <laughs> yeah, so part of our company is the original Colesman and Colesman invented the altimeter in 1928 and Jimmy Doolittle did the first basically blind flight which was the beginning of IFR using a Colesman altimeter and a Sperry gyro. And today we make enhanced vision systems. We're standard fit on all the Gulfstream business jets since 2001 and we're certified for lower landing credit because the pilot can see through fog and bad weather and basically do a VFR type landing because he can see with our enhanced vision system on a head-up display. And I think the head-up display is probably the most innovative part of what it is you've got here at AEA. Walk us through the head-up display part of it. So the new head-up display technology is all digital, kind of like when you used to watch TV on old CRT TVs and then your kids want you to have a Blu-ray movie machine, so you have to put that on a digital high-tech HD TV to be able to see all the detail that's in that. So we make an enhanced vision system camera like this one, and it has a lot of detail that it can see through fog and bad weather, and we want to display that on the head-up display along with the traditional symbology, which is giving the pilot guidance. So we mix that video on the head-up display so that display is now not only used for guiding the pilot with the flight path vector symbology, but also has a lot of detail in it from the enhanced vision system that's seeing through the fog and bad weather and going, there's the runway, I can continue on down to land. What does it take to get all of that data onto the head-up display? You either work with a new aircraft manufacturer or what we're also doing is in the retrofit market, we're doing FAA supplemental type certificates and you have to collect all the data off the aircraft avionics coming from the inertials and the navigation systems and the, and the air data, you know, heading, airspeed, altitude. And it's all digital communication. It talks uh, Airink 429. And you bring that into a computer like this box. And that computer collects all that data and creates the symbology. And we put it up on the head-up display all perfectly aligned to where it belongs and then you mix with that data the video coming from the enhanced vision camera that's mounted out on the nose of the aircraft. So it's a pretty complex system. What are you hearing from pilots who have actually flown the system? Well, it, like all the Gulfstream pilots have had this system since 2001 and basically it, it lets them get in and land when normally they'd have to go around and go somewhere else. It's a pretty huge benefit. I mean, Gulfstream believes in it to the point that it's standard fit on all their high-end business jets. And what other companies are you, are, are you at liberty to say, what other companies you're looking at to have this as a, as a retrofit or an OEM? We're doing FedEx's entire fleet of wide-body airplanes. Mm -hmm. So we're already certified on their MD-10s and MD-11s, and we just finished flight testing a Boeing 777 and a Boeing 757. And we're also working with our partner uh, here at this show, a company called Jetcraft Avionics, in the retrofit market, and we're doing STCs on, on uh, used business jets. So the first one we're doing is a Challenger 604, and, the, and that's what this HUD is for, and a 605, and we're going to do some other models of business jets so that we can offer in the retrofit market what's available only today on some of the new high-end business jets. Roy Gentry with Albert Systems of America. Thanks for taking a few minutes to talk with us on Aero TV. Thank you very much. Aero TV is brought to you by Avidon sets a new standard for simplicity and safety with our all-new panel-mounted avionics stack. The IFD540 GPS Navcom features our award-winning FMS with an intuitive touchscreen user interface. Plus, it's a slide-in replacement for 530 series navigators, which reduces installation costs. The AMX240 is our new audio panel with intercom and Bluetooth music interface. And our AXP340 Mode S transponder with ADS-B out is a slide-in replacement for existing KT76A transponders. Add in our innovative DFC90 series autopilot with flight envelope protection and you've got the most capable and easy to use avionics stack any pilot could ever need. Now you have a choice in the